All right, guys, Friday's workout today. Uh, we're gonna start off with a little bit of push press and some split jumps, okay? We did a little bit of like explosive power work last week with the front squats and the high jumps. Similar idea today, just working on some explosive power coming from our legs, all right? So the push press today is kind of up to you guys on the weight. It should be heavy, going five sets of five. So find a weight that feels a little bit challenging and heavy for you, but that feels like it has, you have good technique for the whole thing, all right? So pick your own weight, cool? When you guys are doing a push press, okay, you're gonna front rack it up. If you guys are doing a front squat, you would bring your elbows up super high here, okay, as high as you could. On the push press, you're gonna drop your elbows a little bit, get a nice good grip on the bar. Try to get that bar to rest on your shoulders. It'll dip, okay, keep that bar in contact with your shoulders. You're gonna drive through the bar. At the top, you're gonna start pressing with your arms and finish here, okay? It's supposed to be a pretty explosive movement. So when you dip, okay, and drive as fast, all the way overhead and come back down, okay? And then in the next rep, dip, drive, overhead, okay? Last thing on these, and anytime you guys are overhead, just focus on nice tight core, okay? Think about if someone's gonna come by and hit you in the stomach, you always wanna be tight here so you're not overextending your back on the push press. So you do a set of five here, and then you're gonna come and do uh, three split jumps on each leg. It's kind of like a uh, jumping lunge, but you're gonna stay on that one leg here. You're gonna jump, land, jump, land, okay? And we'll do three on each side. The goal is just get as high as you can and try to control that movement coming down. So jump high, land, control it, jump, land, control it back down, okay? Five sets of that with a minute rest between each set. Alrighty guys, uh, Friday's workout for you is kind of create your own workout. So we have two movements wall balls and toes to bar. And you guys can decide how you wanna break those up. It's 150 wall balls and 75 toes to bar as the RX reps. Um, and you guys can pick how you wanna do it. I've done this workout before. How I did it was I did um, 15, toes, or 15 wall balls and 15 toes to bar. I did a bunch of rounds of that and then I finished out the few reps I had at the end of my toes to bar. The goal though is kind of find a rep scheme that you feel like you can do mostly unbroken. So maybe you can do 10 unbroken wall balls and five toes to bar, and you can just do that until you finish all the reps, okay? 15 minute time cap. Uh, it's taken like the best people at toes to bar and wall balls probably like right around 10 minutes. So kind of decide from there how you want to scale down the reps or the movements if you need to, okay? A um, couple things on wall balls that really helped me is just focus on breathing. So when you guys are squatting and throwing the ball, make sure you're not holding your breath as you squat. A lot of us have a tendency to catch the ball, we'll hold our breath, and then we throw and breathe. Okay, that'll blow you up really fast. So just try to take nice, deep breaths. Um, the other thing is when you're holding your ball, try to hold it more on the bottom, not on the side. If you hold on the bottom, you don't have to throw the ball as far. It makes it much easier. So a little bit on the bottom, elbows tucked in, okay? We're squatting and throwing it up to the ceiling, or throwing it up to the wall. Cool. Um, definitely you guys can scale that weight down a little bit. It's a lot of wall balls, so find a weight that feels comfortable for you that you can move through, okay? Last thing is toes to bar. Uh, I love toes to bar, my favorite thing. So you guys are gonna jump on the rig. I found the best way to scale down toes to bar if you can't get your feet all the way to the bar consistently is just get your feet as high as you can, but maintain a nice good kip. So. You're gonna get a good kip going, okay? Find a rhythm first, and then start to just bring your feet up as high as you can get them, okay? If this is all you got, that's fine. And then just try to bring them up that height every single time on the, every rep, okay? A couple other ways to scale it down are just high knees, same idea. You bring your knees up as high as you can, okay? And the last set, if your hands are feeling like they're gonna tear, or you're feeling tired of hanging on the bar, you can jump off here and do some V-ups. Coming up here, touch your toes, or just tuck up so you're tucking your knees up to your chest. 15 minutes there, you guys can go back and forth, split that up however you want, it's a fun workout. We'll see you guys tomorrow.